Hey, welcome to the Nika Said Podcast. And if you're new here, I'm Nika Williams, a planner girl, mom to an eight-year-old husband, and a diehard Atlanta Falcons fan. At the end of 2016, I was happily fired from Amazon, which jumped off this online journey. After signing two clients within 10 days and booking out my services as a virtual assistant, I was thrown as the Facebook queen and Coach Nika was born. All that to say I'm a virtual assistant and a VA coach helping women realize they don't have to choose between work and their family, you can have both. And if you're looking for financial freedom while also having family focus, this is the podcast for you. You'll learn how to grow a business that fits into your personal life and not the other way around. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Nika Said Podcast. And today we're going to talk a lot about like why do you need a business plan? And I don't mean to talk about any kind of business plan. It doesn't have to be super extensive or robust. It can be a slim business plan, but why you just need a plan period when you're first starting your business. So when I first started my virtual assistant business, I came in and I didn't really have any kind of plan. Um, If you know my story, you know I was fired a couple of days before Christmas, and so I just know I needed money. Um, And so I kind of like went head in first, and I kind of like just did the thing, finding clients, signed two clients within 10 days, and then that's when my business quickly snowballed. So after that point, I knew that I needed to get some clear kind of like goals in place as far as what do I really want this business to look like? Um, Do I really want it to just be a side gig or do I want it to be a full-on, full-time business? And so doing that, when I sat down and looked at my goals and my why, um, that was when I was able to actually um, clearly see what steps I needed to take to go ahead and take this business and hit whatever financial goals or business goals, whatever it was. Um, It was just more easier for me to see what um, next step that I needed to do. So if you sit down at your desk and you have no clue on what to do next, how to get this thing started, um, or if you have a hard time like hitting your goals, if you've been in business for a while, but you're not exactly at where you want to be, if you have no idea like who to pitch to, what to offer, how much to price it, um, or you have like no clear schedule, nothing is consistent, you're kind of like scattered all over the place, then you want to check out this podcast and I'm gonna give you some tips on how I actually was able to get a clear goal, hit my goals, um, and kind of grow my business um, right before my eyes. Um, And so the first thing first is I got really clear on what did I want. So like I said before, like how big did I want to take this thing? Did I want it to stay kind of small and kind of be like a side gig, um, even though I, I wasn't in nine to five then, but did I want it to be kind of like a part-time business or did I want this to be like a full-time, full-on business? And so you kind of have to go from the basis. Like, what does this look like? What do you want your business, your business to look like? What do you want your life to look like? Um, I knew I had to kind of like factor in a lot of pieces. My kid is special needs, so I knew I needed to factor in. I was going to have to spend um, quite a lot of time with him too. And so I looked at, okay, these are the hours that I'm able to work. What can I actually get done in these hours? What is realistic? So these are hours I was going to be able to work. So what can I get done in these um, set of hours? So I got really clear on what did I want? Like, what did I, if I can make, um, if I could wave a magic wand and have my business look exactly how I want it to look, what, um, what would that look like? And I, and I tell people this all the time, write this stuff down because when you are writing down your why, your big goals, you're going to need to, um, look at those things. You're going to need to touch on those things, um, quite often. Even I normally think about my goals, um, daily, if not weekly. So, um, and then also another thing is I see a lot of people is like settling for anything. So, um, of course I can, probably sign 10 clients at a lower rate. Um, Of course, I can probably sign clients quicker, offering something that I really don't want to do. Um, Of course, I think a lot of people, they get wrapped up into the money. And of course, we need money. We have to make money to be able to, um, you know, get everything that we want and live how we want. But also, um, like I always say, if it's always about the money, then a job will be such an easier (laughs) way to do this because business is super um, hard. It's, It's not anything that's overnight. So 
I looked at um, what was I doing in my business before that I did not like. Um, and so what was I settling for? What was I just saying, okay, I'll do it because the client was right in front of my face, even though I wasn't really happy about the product or about the project or the services or actually the client's personality. Um, and so I quickly jotted it down everything that I wanted. Like if I can have it exactly how I want it, I wrote those things down and I said I would not settle for anything less than that. And so it doesn't matter if the client had money out in their hand, if they did not match up with those things, then I was not going to do it because I wanted to work with people who I enjoyed working with. I wanted to do things that I enjoyed um, doing because that was what's going to grow my business. When I'm happy about sitting down and doing things in my business, happy about working with the people that I have, that's when I'm going to be able to quickly um, grow my business, skyrocket my business because I'll be more inspired. I'll be more motivated. I'll just be happy about what I'm doing and who, and who I'm doing it with. Another thing that I, um, I did was um, I went after my perfect life. I think a lot of us and me, I struggled with a lot in the beginning. It's like, oh, that is for them. Oh, she can make six figures. I can't make six figures. She can charge $1,000. There's no way I can charge $1,000. Of course, she can hit 5K because she's offering different services than me. I can't offer those services. And instead of making all of those excuses as far as like why I couldn't have it, um, I went out there, what was my perfect life going to look like? Do Did I want to work with a lot of clients or did I want to work with uh, fewer clients and charge higher rates. And so those are the things that you kind of have to look at in your business plan. What, who do you want to work with? How much are they making? What type of businesses are they, um, do they have? Um, what sort of services do you want to offer? Even if right now you feel like, oh, you're not experienced enough to offer those services, what will be your ideal situation? You can always work to get there. Once you have these things jotted out in your business plan, as far as this is where I want to be, your steps will lay out. What do you need to do to get to that place where you can offer those services, where you can charge those rates? Um, what do you need to do and to get to that place where you want to be? So make sure you go after your perfect life, not some kind of mediocre, um, boring life that you think you have to just settle for. Go after um, what you really want because a lot of us are not happy in our jobs. Those are the mediocre. Those are the unhappy places. Why would you bring that into your business? Go after for what really fulfills you and actually brings you joy. And stop thinking that because I'm happy, I can't make money. Like because I'm happy, I'm doing what I want. There's no way I can make a lot of money. And I think it's because we are conditioned from, from jobs that, um, yeah, I'm going to go and do this job. It makes me a lot of money, but eh, I'm not too crazy about it. And that's not how business works. You go after what you um, actually love doing and, you, and the money will come. You will charge the rates. You will find the services. You will do whatever you need to do to have your financial goals and your business goals lined up. Um, this is another thing is I looked at when I sat down with my piece of paper, so grab just a blank piece of paper. I don't care what it is. I sat down and I said, what is my big picture? What is it? How much do I want to make? What type of clients do I want to uh, work with? What services? All of that. What is the big picture? If I could wake up tomorrow and live the life that I really wanted, what does that look at, look like? So I, I went ahead and put it at the top. What are my big goals? And then I worked backwards. Okay. So this is how much I need to make. I want to make six figures. How much is that a month? How much do I need to be bringing in a month? Work backwards. Okay, so what type of services do I need to offer? How many clients or how much do I need to um, charge? Work backwards. Um, so you will put those things down and then you'll work backwards. Okay, these other types of businesses, these types of people have, um, where are they hanging out? Where do I need to be? How do I pitch them? Work backwards until you get to, okay, this is my first step. This is what I need to work on today. This is what I need to do, accomplish this week to get me to my monthly goals. And so you have four weeks, you um, have those um, four, four weeks to work on that and to hit those monthly goals. Sometimes you may not hit those monthly goals. Be okay with that. You can tweak it. Whatever didn't work, then you will figure out, okay, this didn't work too well. Let me tweak it. Let me try something else for the next month. Um, I think a lot of people struggle with this too. Is like, I don't want to fail. I don't want to be judged. I, it's not going to work. The whole entrepreneurial space is testing and learning. I have been trying different things for the last two years in both of my businesses. And everything that I am doing now is completely different from what I did in the beginning. Because I didn't, and you will not, you will not be able to read, watch, or um, anything enough information until you actually implement that stuff. So 
I started to just try stuff. Like I would, this is where I wanted to be. This is my goal for the month. Okay. What do I need to try? Who, what type of businesses do I need to work with? Um, and this goes all back into, um, you know, giving discounts, working for testimonials, free work, discounted work, all of that to figure out the magic piece to your puzzle to get to where you want to be. So work backwards in the picture and um, be completely okay with testing and learning. I think that's what a lot of people struggle with. Um, but you have to be realistic too. Is if you're working a nine to five, 40 hours a week, how much time can you realistically put into your business? And when I say realistically, I mean consistently because the real key into growing a business is how consistent can you be? It is not how much you know. It is not how good you are. It is how consistent can you be? There are tons of people who are definitely more experienced than me who have been to graduated college degree after degree and I am still further in my business because I am more consistent than the next person and so how it doesn't I think a lot of people get um tripped up on the fact it's like oh my god I need to um I need to set aside two hours a day in my business so I can do all of the things um and when they're not really knowing how much 10 minutes can move your um, business can move the needle how much 30 minutes because just because you're setting aside two hours does not mean you're working on the right things. If you're super productive in 30 minutes, that can move you farther than the last two hours did. So make sure you are setting a schedule, um, which will come back to when you are working backwards from your big goal and you are at that weekly and daily level. What does those days look like? What are you doing? What are you focused on to reach your goals? If that is financial, what are the financial or what are the money making activities that you're doing to get you to wherever you want to be? If that is growing your audience, getting more experience, getting more um, testimonials, what are you doing to actually get to hit that business goal? Maybe you want to um, get three testimonials this week. How are you going to get those? Maybe you offer free work. Maybe you offer discounted work. Then what do you need to do to find those clients? Pitch more. Maybe grow your email list. Whatever it is, you have to figure out the pieces. Once you work backwards, then the steps will lay out right in front of you as far as what do you need to do. But my number one thing, and I'm going to leave you with this, is being okay with change, um, being okay with testing and learning, being okay with failing. In business, you don't fail, you just learn. So a lot of people are super scared to make the first step or they're super scared to lay out a plan uh, or to actually start to implement that plan, take action in that plan because, oh my God, I don't think this is going to work. This is super good on paper, but I don't think this is going to work. And so if you are, if you have the business plan in front of you, work the plan and you can tweak it. You can learn from it. You can try different things. You can change different things along the way. Work the plan. So those are my, my top, I don't know how many tips as far as why do you need a business plan? Because it's just super more easy. It's super clear. It's super concise. It's super, um, just lay out everything that you need to do when you're sitting down and working on your business. Um, and that's why a lot of people get tripped up on is like, I don't know what to do. Lay out that business plan, start with your goals, work backwards, and the path will lay out right in front of you. So let me know if you have any kind of questions, if I can help you with anything in your business plan. Keep it super simple, guys. You know I always am talking about it does not have to be hard. It does not have to be complicated. You do not have to do all the things. Just do your one thing really well. So I will see you in an, um, another one next week. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast. And thank you for watching. so much for joining me today and make sure you check back next week for another amazing episode with actionable tips to grow your online business in the meantime leave a review and let me know your thoughts on today's episode and if you want to see what i'm up to check out my instagram page at coach nika come hang out with other women on the same journey in the private free facebook group the virtual assistant club and remember every day you're a one step closer to the dream life you want keep going girlfriend